Hello, Jeremy Chambers, Independence Acres Homestead here. Today is the first significant snowfall of 2020. We are uh, somewhat excited about it. Uh, coming out here with uh, Luke to get some chores done. Well, actually the chores are already done, I'm not gonna lie. The boys got the chores done already. So uh, I'm just coming out here to see how everything's going, see how the rabbits are faring in the snow. Looks like they're all doing well. Somebody, are you still gotta feed them, Luke? Nope, they knocked over their food bowl on my yard. Well, you need to give me more food. Seeking rabbits knocking over the food bowl in the middle of winter. Anyway, it is, uh, let's see, um, just a second. It's uh, almost 10 o'clock in the morning. It's been snowing since about 2 a.m. We've got about four, four and a half inches of snow. And, uh, well, it's time to get plowing out here. They're uh, expecting the snow to change to rain early this afternoon, so not quite looking forward to that. But a couple things I'm going to do uh, in order to prepare to plow. Uh, you know, like I said, I've uh, plowed once already last year and uh, had a pretty good um, uh, pretty good change to the plow. I was having problems with engaging in the gravel, but I was able to uh, level my plow out a little bit so that I was uh, just getting a little better straight engagement uh, into the ground, but still picking up some gravel here and there. So we're going to try something that we uh, heard about from a, trip, a tip on one of our last YouTube videos. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, get that going. I'll show you what we're doing here in a second. Okay, so we just stepped in uh, into the garage out of the snow here because, uh, well, it's coming down kind of hard. So what we're going to do is we're going to be uh, removing the um, little side wing from the plow and sliding a piece of two-inch PVC across the cutting edge of the snow plow. So the cutting edge of the plow is 47 inches, which is the area that we need to cover with the PVC pipe. So and head down to the basement, get that cut. So during the winter, I do most of my woodworking and construction projects here in the basement. Not ideal, but when you have an unfinished Michigan basement, um, it works out. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to rip a slot down the center of this PVC using the table saw. Okay, so first thing I gotta do is I've gotta remove this wing here off of the plow, and then we are going to be sliding the PVC to cover the cutting edge here. Um, and hopefully that'll keep me from engaging the gravel too much here. So first things first, I gotta get this wing off. All right, so. Uh, I'm going to ride this PVC pipe right across the top of the bolts that hold on the cutting edge here and uh, hopefully this will go on fairly easily. Okay, so while trying to put the side wing back on, ran into just a small glitch, easily solved though. So the problem I ran into was that uh, right where the bottom bolt for the side wing bolts on, I needed to be able to access that uh, where it attaches to the cutting blade uh, edge on the blade there. So I uh, got out my little handy dandy handsaw, cut that out, put it back on, and uh, now it's time to get the side wing installed.
As with everything in life, it took a lot longer to put it back together than it did to take it apart. So now I'm finally ready to do, get some plowing done. We'll see how this works. PVC pipe on the plow cutting edge seems to do the trick to keep it from engaging into the gravel. Uh, about the only drawback is as it, as it goes and we get a little bit of weight on the plow, it starts to compact the snow and begin to ride on top of it. When, when I first drop the plow, it, uh, it engages the snow real well. But once we get over here in this area, you can see I've got about an inch of snow here left on the driveway. Not a bad thing, but later on this is supposed to uh, rain and then ice over, so that could be bad but uh, I might just have to go over it a second time and hope it's not so packed that it won't come up. Well, I hope that this helps somebody else out there instead of just me. If it does, make sure you like and subscribe, and until next time, God bless.